Hello, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, my name's Dan, this is Pip, my daughter. We are going for a little paddle in the um, was it, Intex K2 Challenger inflatable kayak. We pumped it up and we're ready to rock. So we're gonna get out on the water. We're just gonna have a little paddle, maybe try and find somewhere to stop and uh, get a cup of tea or coffee or something. Hot chocolate for the little one. Yeah, it's a beautiful summer's day, so we're going to spend some of it on the water. You ready? We're a bit nervous. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We haven't done it together yet. where they're going and then slip straight in for your deep bump. There you go. Good job. Okay. You alright? I have my hand. Yep. Okay. I'm not gonna wear Grab grab yourself an oar. Alright. I must say, this was a very good idea. Mm. I've seen a few YouTube videos of people camping off of a canoe and stuff, kayaks. So Wild Camper did a video where he paddled down the Thames and uh, camped out on an island and that was pretty good. And I'd quite like a bit of that action. Just paddling along is very relaxing. Nice, nice to spend some time with Pip mm. out on the water. And uh, yeah, we're just moseying along. I think we've only been going about half an hour or something. But uh, yeah, it's really nice. I've got no idea where we are. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think we're just going to try and find a spot to put in in the next half hour or so, get ourselves some food, snacks and drink. 
Yeah. And then, uh, and then we'll paddle back. There's a sort of blue, metallic bluey, blacky kind of dragonflies everywhere along the edge here. They're really pretty. I'd be quite keen to try and get one of them on film if I can. Looking at my lens, it looks filthy. A oh, little jumping fish. <laughs> yeah, you definitely get a different perspective on the water. If you're considering a kayak, get this one. I'd get one because even if you just use it a couple of times a year, it's really lovely. And for the cost of, you know, I think you can hire them, but for the cost of hiring one twice a year for two or three years, you know, you can buy one of these for under £100. And, uh, yeah, limitless fun. Pardon me. The tank, tank stopper things. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a witch's hut. <laughs> be a canal thing. Well, a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I, think... I want to find one. Yeah. I think when we get to the lock, that's where we've got to stop. Because hmm. I want to do that. So we're looking for a place to put in now. <sighs> Gonna make a, a hot drink and have a snack. Mm. I just touched one of these and it really freaks me out. Are they slimy? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see it, I was looking at the head. I felt it, I felt it, and I was like, oh my god, what just touched me out? I thought it was a thing. Two, three. <laughs> you have to use your own drink. Okay, let me get that big glass. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm up. It's nice, isn't it? Whoa! I like <laughs> Leave it like that. Yeah. Camel. Feet. <laughs> yeah, no, it's squelching between my toes. <laughs> right, let's get some Change it out with us. Some jerky. What? They're thick, these ones. Oh, yeah. Wow. Chewy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Tastes like bacon. Just, we just uh, stopped, we've come off, we've got the kettle on, we've had a bit of jerky, jerky, and um, Pip's having a paddle, Fine. with her goggles on, um, she wants to jump in but we're resisting, we're resisting until we're back <laughs> nearer the car, oh the man on a bike. Yeah, we just see some people. First time, first time since we set off, I think. Oh no, we saw one lot of people walking. Yeah. So we've seen one lot of people walking, one guy fishing, and two guys on bikes. That's all we've seen all day. It's pretty cool. And no canals. No canal boats, but we're at the wrong end. We're uh, we're at the the end. Really it's a dead end. So uh, yeah, kettle's on. We got a pan of chocolat to eat. I'm gonna make Pip a hot chocolate. Make myself a coffee. And we'll drink that and then we'll start paddling back towards the motor. And when we get a bit closer, I might let Pip jump in. I don't think I'll be jumping in. I've still got a cold. I 
a bit snuffly. But yeah, it's been it's been really enjoyable. So yeah, the kettle's almost boiled. I'll make myself a drink. Yeah. It's got a butterfly right next to it. So much wildlife when you're out in the river, it's very, very cool. They've got the white butterflies with the two dots on them. Um, I'd say the half a dozen types of butterflies we've seen. Different dragonflies. We've seen a fish jump up. It jumped up right next to me and made me, made me jump. I thought it was a shark attack. And uh, Yeah, uh, what else have we seen? Water skeeters, like water boatmen and birds and things. Yeah, very tranquil. But yeah, kettle's boiled. I'm gonna make some coffee. Can put some milk in it? Yes. There's another spoon, isn't there? No, I've only got one. Oh. Here you go. Perfect. Some drop of milk, thank you. Pano chocolat. Pano chocolat. With a slime on my hands. <laughs> oh, it's melting. That's good, isn't it? Mm. If I do something disgusting. What? <laughs> uh. <laughs> suffering. Suffering. You're not dying. No, it's quite cold. You won't. So anyway, we're going to finish our coffee, hot chocolate, and then we're going to paddle off again. I bet you, if I walked down here, I'd be quicker than you rowing. But you can go really fast on this. The butterfly just went right, almost landed on the camera. Mm. Ready? Yep. Go.
So we're almost back at the car, we think. <laughs> we think, I, I looked at the time as we were setting off and it's, it's probably getting on for half four now. And we came out at half past one, so I think we've had about three hours, which it doesn't felt like that. Time's, time's flown by, it's been really nice. Mm. So I think we'll be doing this sort of thing again. But yeah, it's a little different, so I hope it's been reasonably enjoyable, and I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>